Hello and welcome to a brand new vlog in the middle of the week. I know this is very random and you're a little confused as to why I'm posting it. Now, under normal circumstances, today I'd actually be uploading a members only vlog. However, uh, I, I'm aware that this is a, a vlog of me going to see Tom and I thought everyone would like to see this one because it is quite funny. So yeah, uh, members, I appreciate you. I love you. And uh, I will continue to post bonus content for you guys every single Wednesday. Links in the description if you want to become a member. Uh, but yeah, let's roll on the, uh, the vlog of me going up to support Surprise, Tom. Alrighty, good morning members and welcome back to another bonus vlog where you might be able to tell that it's very early in the morning. It is currently 6 a.m. And the reason I'm up this morning uh, so early is because I'm going to hand deliver a vlog to Tom. As you guys may or may not know, the vlogs of late have been, well, <laughs> they've been a little bit late. And yesterday's was actually my fault. Annoyingly, I missed a, or made a mistake in the vlog and uh, therefore it led to the vlog being a little bit late. Now, I thought it'd be quite funny to uh, to drive up and hand deliver the vlog, says Tom, so I know factually it can't be late. On top of that, I've got Tom a present for his birthday so we can kill two birds with one stone. But first things first, I need to check the actual logistics of doing this. Because as you can see from this, it's actually a two hour driving trip from my house all the way up to Tom's. So I need to make sure I get there on time. So step one is making sure I've got the vlog downloaded. So that is downloading currently. Step two is making sure that the vlog length is reasonable. So when I get up there, I'll have time to put it together and then obviously give it to Tom. That part is fairly minimal because I'll be there at before nine o'clock and then I'll be able to get the vlog done way in advanced. I already know that the vlog's a short one, so that's a win. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm quiet, it's because it's 6 a.m. and my entire family's asleep. All right, time to pack my bag and finish getting ready. And just in case today, I will take my mount for my phone, because uh, you never know. In typical Tom fashion, he says it's a short vlog and he hasn't filmed much. Yeah, about that. <laughs> it's a 46 minute vlog. <laughs> God damn it, Tom. Well, shit the bed. It looks like I don't have a lot of time then, so uh, let's hit the road. All right, first stop, Tesco, because I need tea. Oh, well, okay. That was short-lived. The fucking cost is not open. I'm never awake at these times to know what's open and what isn't. However, fortunately, there is a Costa drive through right down the road. So I've got myself a cup of tea and I'm ready for a two hour journey. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys there. All right. Many hours later, it is now, I would look at my watch, but I don't have one on. It is now 9 a.m. or like 5 to 9. Uh, I got here in good time and I think I've arrived at yet another coffee house uh, or a coffee shop uh, in Starbucks. I'm 99% positive that this is the Starbucks that Tom goes to on a regular basis. Obviously I edit the vlog, so I see it all the time. Uh, so I think I've come to the right one. I don't intend on surprising Tom here, but obviously, as you guys know, I brought my laptop because I've got some work to do. So I'm gonna jump into Starbucks now and crack on with some work. All right, time to crack on. Well, breakfast has arrived. Mm. Mm, very nice. But we're still grafting. Oh, many hours later. We are finished at Starbucks. And with a press of a button, the vlog is now rendering. So now it's time to upload the vlog and basically send it to Tom. So we're going to go find him at this point in the day. Um, honestly, he threw me a curveball, which I wasn't expecting at all. Uh, the vlog, as you remember from... What is going on? <laughs> Bloody gyrac. But yeah, as you guys know, the vlog was a little longer than I anticipated today, which was number one curveball. The second curveball was is he forgot to send me a really big file, which is like three gigabytes worth of file, which doesn't sound like much, but when you have no internet, it's a lot. Now, uh, the, the Wi-Fi where I was sucked, but 200 IQ, I got 5G on my phone, and look at this, that speed, I honestly, could you could not make that up. I had like 200 down, so I managed to download the clip that Tom sent me, and uh, actually managed to fit it in the vlog and get it all sorted and stuff like that, so... Pfft. There was a slight bit of panic there, but fortunately we figured out. Worst case scenario, I would have just gone to Tom's and I would have finished it there. But the fact that I got to do it on the road and stuff like that is perfect. Look, you can still see it there. It says, do you want to join the personal hotspot that I've got? But man, yeah, this vlog has got, what, 20 minutes now on its render time. So I'm just going to leave it in here to, well, I'm going to drive, obviously. But I'm going to let this thing render and I'm going to make my way to Tom's. Oh my God. I hope he's there. I'm exhausted. I'm actually, so I've been awake since like half five in the morning. So I am very, very tired. But uh, I hope he's there. If not, I'm sure I'll be able to find him. He, I know, I know. Well, I'm 99% positive that he's not going anywhere today, so we should be all right. I have an idea based on this vlog what he's got planned. So yeah, we need to make moves and try and find Tom. 
Right, you might be a little bit pissed because you're kind of on an angle in my mount in my car, uh, but there's been a bit of an issue. Tom isn't actually at home. Um, I just text him, hit like kind of sneakily being like, oh, you're at home to download this thing. Uh, and he says he's not at home. But the only other place I can think of him possibly being right now is at the Syndicate original office. So I'm gonna drive towards that now and uh, see if he's there. And if not, then Lydia is my next best bet. This is the part of the day which I knew was gonna be the most stressful. Doing the vlog and stuff like that, easy. I kind of plan for like having to work away from home. However, trying to find Tom without telling him that I'm here is actually quite difficult because Alice and Carl are both on holiday. I've, I've, I've texted Karen, but she's one, not a Syndicate original and nor is Tom. Uh, and she's not replied to me either. So. I'm kind of like round the corner from his house um, and I've just texted Lydia just to see if she knows where he is so I can deliver this. But it is looking like I'm going to have to give Tom a call or text him or something like that. Uh, alternatively, I can go do something else to kill some time. So I'm not too worried. Uh, like I do want to surprise him, but I also don't want to be creepy and go around to other places where I think he could be because that is borderline stalking. So uh, I'm just going to play it by ear for a little bit. Um, it's getting close to lunchtime, so I think I might just go get some lunch anyway. Uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. Well, I've got some munch from Tesco and I've just found out that Tom is sorting the tires out on his car. All right, well, I found him in typical Tom fashion. He is currently assembling his tripod to film his car. Here we see a Tom in his natural habitat, filming his Land Rover Defender preparing to get the tires taken off for replacement. He has no idea that I'm sat here filming him. Does he know his fear? <laughs> Look how pissed he is. <laughs> Do you like my new upload speed? <laughs> You're not going to believe he's in front of me. <laughs> is this why Lydia rang me? Yeah. Lydia rang me and she was like, where are you? I'm like, here, and she's like, what? How long are you going to be there? I'm like, an hour. Why are you judging me for time? Dude, so, wow, do you look great. Oh, mate, that is too funny. Proper gobsmacked. I'll have to get some of the footage from his vlog and, and showcase it at some point. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I'll get him to send me some footage, actually, because that was really funny. But yeah, a little bit of behind the scenes. Tom is currently getting his car sorted now. Oh He's filming. <laughs> as I'm filming oh him, God. filming me. Oh, my God. <laughs> But yeah, he's currently filming a time lapse of his car, which uh, I'll show you guys later, I guess. All right, that plan worked a treat. Uh, we're now going to go head over to Tom's house so I can actually give him the vlog uh, because we've just been sat outside the garage for like the last hour. So, yes, again, uh, let's start up the beast and hit the road. And from the road to Tom's front door. If you're wondering where Tom is, by the way, he's, uh, he's on his way behind me. He actually pulled out right next to me uh, and then went into a garage following, I think, was a tri bike. I I'm not really sure. So, I'll ask him when he gets here. But we are here a little bit early and I want to have a look at this pool. That is, of course, assuming I can get in to his house. <laughs> ah, yes. Perfect Tom security. <laughs> God, it's actually been a very long time since I've been here. I don't even think there was a zip line here the last time I was here, but... <laughs> oh my God. Here is Tom's stepladder to go on his zip line down to his pool. I tell you what, he does do the maddest shit. It's funny because like what you don't see is he does tell me a lot of these ideas that he has. And mate, he comes up with some crazy shit, but this is something else. And before you ask, I'm not going in that today. It's just not happening. It's far too cold. It's not exactly a warm day today. But bloody hell, it doesn't, it doesn't look very appetizing because it doesn't look clean at all. But Jesus Christ, look how pristine and nice that grass is, by the way. Well, shout out to Andy the gardener. Does the star job. But yeah, that is something else. Fuck you hell. Right, I'm going to make my way back to my car and dance around a little bit because I am dying for a pee. And I guess we'll see if Tom's come back yet. Which he definitely has. All right, well, this is for you. Uh, hey. And this is for you. You didn't have to. Happy birthday, bro. I mean, honestly, was just so stoked to see you. Like, as you saw in the clip, I kind of was like having a exponential crisis as to like, that so is fun. that actually a Ryan? And it all clicked and made sense, but thank you so much. Do you want to open it now? Or do you want we'll to open it in a minute. Standard Ryan procedure. I need to piss everywhere I go. Oh my God, that caught me so off guard. I thought it was a fucking fish in a bag. It's a it's a bag of soap. Me. I watched it, it's like, why is there a fucking goldfish? Bizarre. Now this is gonna look really suspicious of me sitting down on like a casting couch with holes in it. That doesn't that doesn't sound any better anyway, but listen, if you didn't know that was a rabbit, it wasn't me just getting hungry. I have a card. Mate, you, you're so sweet. <laughs> Genius. You're uh, old enough to know better, young enough to do it anyway. Amazing. Let's give it a read. Oh wow. I like it when people write in them. To Tom, first thing, I'm sorry about my handwriting. I forgot what a pen is. 
not at all. Have you seen mine? Uh, sorry I couldn't make it to the party of a lifetime, but I hope this makes up for it a little bit. Been a wild ride since I met you, and I'd be so fortunate to have done so. Love you, love, uh, you said, love you long time. Love you long time. <laughs> I thought I just read that. I was like, no, love you long time. That's what it says. Signed by Onion. Thank you very much, Onion. Oh, dude, you didn't have to get me anything, like I said. I reckon it's a bigger gnome with middle fingers like that. All right, okay, so I am super stumped. Super stumped, not a clue in the slightest. Still not a clue in the slightest. It says, open this end. I'm going to need a knife. I'm going to need a knife. Okay. Yeah. So it's a box of a polystyrene box. Am I going to grab this and you pull it? Yeah. Yes! There we go. Ooh! Final guess is it's going to be a garden gnome naked. Don't know why, it's what I'm going to throw out there. You ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Oh! It was a garden gnome! I'm well good at these guesses! And it is a garden gnome swearing! Yes! Dude! Yes! With a bit! That's fucking... Dude, come here. Happy that, birthday, Oh, mate. mate. That is... That is absolutely... I'm going to end up being one of those gnome people, aren't I? I'm just going to keep bringing gnomes every yeah. year and build you 30 up. years later, I've got, I'm like the crazy gnome old guy, but that, that's mint. Honestly, I thank you. I can't believe I called it! <laughs> I called it! Yes! All right, well, there you go. That is the gift I got for Tom. And just like that, we've got the vlog over as well. So there you go, mission complete. We have delivered the video. And now I think we're going to get some food and go check out the land that Tom is looking at. So we've come to Limefields and Tom is getting a special burger made for, uh, for his Syndicate Sunday special. That oh my God, lunch has arrived. Special. Look at Tom's fucking burger. Holy crap, what is that about, dude? <laughs> She looks mad. Well, it has to be said that that burger was very, very good. How was yours? 10 out of 10. Honestly, very, very good. All right, lunch at Limefields is lovely, but now oh, we're heading back in the car because Tom wants to show me his land. So uh, let's go there. Well, we've arrived and it's a bit fucking cold, mate. We've come out in wellies, shorts and a fucking t-shirt. Great idea, this. I didn't even know you were fucking coming, so don't start giving me flat. Mate, like, this is non-negotiable. You've got a coat on. I'm in a I came Do you not have it in your go bag? Oh, I'm Does it rain where I've come from? It's Be prepared for everything. It's still sunny down south. Would you just? Look at that. Look at that. Wow. I've never seen the clouds so low. Yeah, honestly. Or they're so high, I we guess. We basically touch them here. But around Mate. this... This is the land, and I tell you what, it has changed since I've last seen it. It is so much longer. This is where you'd probably put sheep in it, and they'd come and eat it all. Yeah. Like you've got like thistles growing everywhere and stuff like. Look, it's like it's mad. up to our knees. Yeah, it's actually up to your knees. <laughs> Guys, if this is the last clip you see of me, it's because I may have drowned out here. It's very, very wet, and it's bloody deep. This is freaking ridiculous. Why? Why? We look like a bunch of streakers. <laughs> this is a joke, man. If we do get this land, we're going to have to stay on top of it. So Farmer Tom is going to need to find a tractor, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Well, we've made it. What doesn't look like a far way is a bloody long way. I'm fucking soaked. <laughs> it's fucking dickhead. <laughs> but we've made it to the other side of the land. Woo! Look at this. Look at that. Bloody hell. What a spot this is. The view that way is fucking well nice. Gosh, just look how better it gets when you get tired. It's <laughs> fucking steep, mate. <laughs> yeah. It, I'm not going to lie. It, it, it is steep. I didn't sign any waivers, so just saying, you know. Hey, it's not my land. <laughs> I don't think you what? guys are able to hear it, but... We'll oh, it. You can just hear running water. It's so nice down here. You are right. Once you get over this dip, changes, man. Just for this bit. Yeah, listen to this. That's the dream. You guys know me, man. I want to plant like. I love me the countryside. This is fucking lovely. It's actually crazy, like how quiet it actually is here. It's like a complete like trap. No signal either. Is it raining? No. A beef of sun. It's um. This is the new kind of ray. This is a new kind of ray. It's got. Gorgeous, brother. Gorgeous. Good deal. Well, I might as well embrace it. I'm already wet. I'm now exploring because I found me a waterfall. And you know how much I like waterfalls? If I fall here, fucking hell, I hope you're filming. <laughs> Look at this. Yo, you wanna take a cold plunge? <laughs> yeah, 
It looks hey. fine. Hey, mate. It's fine. Come see the land, he says. It'll be fun, he says. Tell me you didn't have fun. I'm bloody wet, mate. Tell me right now, where are you going? <laughs> Tell me you have not had fun. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I've made it back to the car, but I am drenched. Uh, so much so that I'm going to drive to the Tesco near Tom and go buy a new t-shirt and maybe a look, look how fucking soaked I am. Mate, fucking hell. Right. Time to go to Tesco, get a change of clothing and head home. Oh my days, what a day. I am finally home uh, from what was a very wet day. <laughs> it was really nice to see Tom. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, if you did, please leave it a thumbs up around. I'd appreciate that. If you are new around here, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm posting vlogs every single week. That's Tom's outro. <laughs> yeah, it's been that kind of day, guys. Um, but yeah, I, I post vlogs every single Sunday at 7 p.m. And I post bonus vlogs every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. And then gaming videos in between. So if you like those kind of things, make sure you subscribe. Because 20% of you aren't subscribed. Whatever that fucking saying is. I don't know. And I just want to thank you for watching our video. Thank you very much. And I shall catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.